hi what's up guys uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy Spring Boot application in in OpenShift container platform uh, in this uh, demo I'm going to use a very simple uh, Spring Spring Boot application it's actually a hello world app okay so in my as you can see in my docker uh, hub I have here a uh, hello hello to oh, this this is just a very simple hello world app uh, I, I created in Spring Boot using Spring Boot actually. so uh, this application I'm going to deploy in uh, OpenShift so uh, let's get started First, I want to show you the YAML that I'm going to use for this deployment. So, uh, since the where yeah, wait, uh, first uh, we have to. There are two ways to deploy in OpenShift. One is via CLI, and another way, another way is to uh, uh, web console. So in this uh, demo, I'm going to show you the web console portion or a way, okay? So first, let's go to uh, let's go to uh, administrator menu. So because there are two uh, section here, one is administrator and the other one is developer so first we go to administrator then we go to workload menu and choose a uh, uh, deployment okay so here you just create a create click that button and then there's template here so we you can just uh delete it and use our own uh, YAML okay so basically in this uh, YAML okay I specify the version and the kind of course this is deployment the, the name which is hello to is uh, of course you can uh, change that then the, how many uh, replica normally we only need uh, for this demo uh, I will just use one we don't need uh, more than one uh, because this this is just a demo okay so uh, the template and selector you just keep uh, same name I think the important here is the image okay the image must be pointing to our uh, repository in my case our, my, I use the public repository which is docker hub so uh, as you can see uh, I have here hello to image so this is it's pointing to this uh, 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 location okay so basically I it will be download, lo downloaded this image will be downloaded from Docker Hub okay then the port which is 80 and uh, is uh, environment name which is spring profiles active inside my uh my spring boot application i created a profile there docker meaning if uh the i pass a docker as the uh the i if, if it means if i choose uh, docker as the profile in my uh spring boot application i will use at as well okay so that so th as this is the our deployment YAML okay so once we create the, the deployment component in OpenShift automatically we expect a pod here yeah a pod will be created okay so after creating the the deployment we we can go to our pod pod this will be automatically uh, created as well right as you can see in the log you can see the spring boot here and uh, 
port is 80 80 because uh, in the I pass I choose docker as the profile inside my spring boot application as I said if the profile is docker I will use 80 okay the reason why I use 80 because I want to uh, I want to use I want I want to hit the the host name without specifying uh, port because 80 is the default right okay then what else then after creating the deployment ym then we need to create a service same we just need to create uh, click the create service uh, button and uh, and uh, change the name we use the same name so we will we won't get confused right so hello to so namespace we don't need we just use the default right then uh, the app, app we just use the same name then the port is 80 the target port is 80 also Okay, so uh, the purpose of this service is to uh, communicate with the pod. So we can, uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, like a channel to uh, communicate with our pod. Okay, so let's create it. All right, then. We want to create. We need also to create route to in to communicate with the service because we uh this uh, our application is not yet uh, accessible uh, outside because we are working on a container right. So in si even it's already deployed, it's still not ac uh, access accessible externally right. So we need a route. We need to create a route. So that we can just use it, uh, the same name hello to then service we we select the service that we created just now which is hello to then target port uh, of course 8080 so then create and that's it we expect up uh, we expect that this URL okay so we can uh, access our application now we just need to hit this okay. uh, we get error because uh, the path is not com uh, complete we need to specify the uh, endpoint in my case I my endpoint is test so we should be able to access the application so this is the hello world uh, that I created okay uh, thank you very much guys for watching this video. I hope you uh, learn something important about uh, OpenShip today and see you guys again soon. I'll be making some more videos. Uh, thank you guys. Bye bye.